has stopped to deliver goods and it's blocking the road. So this could be the answer. A network of underground pipes which could be used to carry freight. It's being tested in Cambridgeshire and is partly funded by the government to try to cut congestion and pollution on the roads. This report from Mike Cartwright. They call it the mole, propelled through pipelines by magnets. It's capsules rolling along tracks in tunnels under our towns. A cure, they say, to congestion on our roads. Is this going to happen? Oh, yes, it's, for sure it's going to happen. The present technology, if you think about it, has been around since 1900, something like that, which has been the conventional road traffic. Um, we're in the 21st century now. Surely it's time for something new. And this is practical, it's new, it works. If you have a look under here, this is one of the electromagnets. They'll be every 10 metres or so along the track. It's the wave above it which propels the capsules along. And look, just a little push and it just glides along. These ones designed for aggregate, but pallet loads of anything, everything they say could be carried to and from shops, businesses and factories. In Northampton, this old railway line could be replaced by the very first tunnels. The university asked to see if it's all feasible. It has a potential to be a very broad appeal. We shouldn't just confine ourselves to considering goods moving into Northampton. We should also look at the opportunity for bringing materials out again. Uh, commercial waste could be a very large uh, part of the, uh, of the freight carried. Also, fuel for the planned gasification plant in Northampton could also use mould. This one, above ground to show how it works. But it's easy to bury, they say. Uh, most applications will be cut and cover, so you'll cut the hole you want, you'll put the pipe which is pre-made in a factory so it's done to good specifications, it'll be put in the uh, ground and then you'll put a cap on it and then over the top of that you can put a cycleway, you can put whatever you like. It all could be up and running within five years. If it works, magnetic moles could be coming to a town near you. Mike Cartwright, BBC Look East, near Huntingdon.